Hey, this is Eric and I'm here with Ryan and today we're going to give you a little rewind theater of the latest Halo Reach campaign trailer. Yeah, so uh, starting off with a nice uh, sweeping space vista here, looking at planet Reach, of course. And this is before the destruction. You can see it kind of looks a little homey, nice planet. Yeah, it looks like a nice little lake there, uh, kind of in the upper right hand corner. It's all going to boil though once the Covenant get there. So here we get a little flash at the beginning. That's actually pulled directly from the original Halo Reach trailer that we saw online a while back. This is the Noble Six member. That's who you play as there in the center. Up in the right, of course, you can see the new vehicle. That's the Falcon. Yeah, and then this uh, Warthog 2 is one of the, the new forms of the Warthog 2, right? Exactly. So here, if we just pause it right on that, you, you might remember this from the Halo Reach beta, especially looking at that uh, little satellite array dish. What's the name of this map? This is the Overlook map. Okay, this is one of the ones that was in the beta, right? So now we're just moving right along. We get to see some Spartans here. If we just skip forward a little bit, there is Kat. She's making some kind of plan. Supposedly, this would be a cutscene in between levels. And uh, pause right back there. Now, this scene right here, to me, is eerily reminiscent of Halo 1, the third level, uh, Pillar of Autumn. You remember, it was kind of that purplish level. It started with uh, being creeping up on a ledge. There was some sniping down on some uh, Covenant forces below. And we've got an, a gigantic gun down there. I don't know if the Covenant have come down and put out space guns down there, or if you're space going space guns. I fear space guns. Or if you're going to actually go and try to uh, try to defend that, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it could be. We don't know if this is a, a UNSC weapon or a Covenant weapon. Maybe they're going in there trying to take it out. Maybe they're trying to defend it. But we can also see on the on the right hand corner there, it looks like a Covenant vessel that's kind of uh, hovering there. But but yeah, I mean, it, definitely reminiscent of um, of the first Halo game. And here we've got just kind of a crazy, kind of the crazy battles that everyone always envisioned in this, in this big reach battle. If you want to rewind there, there's actually something kind of funny. If you get right, uh, let's see, right there. Move forward just a little bit. There's a mongoose. Some kind of idiots, two idiot Spartans, or I don't know what they are, riding mongoose into a gigantic battle on reach. That's pretty badass, though. Like, you know, if you, to ride a mongoose into a huge battle like that, you've got to be pretty hardcore. I'm, personally, I'd go with the Falcon, um, Falcon, actually, I got to play recently. It's one of the cooler new vehicles. Uh, the guy who flies it doesn't get any guns. He just steers. And then two other team members can take up positions on the sides as turret gunners. And then two more people can just ride and just kind of ride shotgun and shoot their normal weapons. So is there Wi-Fi on board a Falcon? Can you uh, that costs check extra. your email? Okay. That costs extra. So wait a minute. So what do we got going on here? We have uh, a Spartan. This is, this is the guy you play as, right? That he's, is Noble Six memory, yep. He's jumping from a Covenant vessel or a Covenant installation onto one of these Falcons. Do we know what's happening here? We don't, I mean, of course, because we, have, we haven't actually played the campaign yet. But it's kind of interesting to note that's a Covenant, either a vehicle or a base of some sort, on planet Reach. So the Covenant have come in full invasion, which if you read The Fall of Reach and remember, yeah. the Covenant didn't just glass this planet from above like they did most other planets. They actually invaded for the purpose of finding uh, a Forerunner artifact. Yeah, that they there's believe to something be there. that they want on this planet. And that is kind of a look at what we're calling uh, Reach City, because yes. we don't know what it is. This very, looks very ODST to me. It has that kind of dark vibe with the, the boiling skies. Yeah, indeed. Most indeedly. All right, this is an awesome looking elite. So do we don't know really much about who these guys are or what types of elites they are, but they look different than elites we've seen in other Halo games. And uh, they look like they're about to kill a Spartan, <laughs> which is kind of interesting as we'll get a little bit farther into this trailer. We'll see. And I don't know what this guy's doing. If he's hoping to take down that, I mean, I know the pistol is, is stronger. Right? <laughs> sure, they beefed it up. They beefed that, up yeah. the pistol from Halo 3, but I'm not sure you could just take down this huge Covenant dropship with a pistol. It might be a little bit of yeah, active we desperation. Also notice there. here that they're all firing at this vessel. I don't know if maybe they're trying to, there's an explosive that they're trying to detonate, or maybe they're just trying to hold, hold their position until something happens. To me, it just screams desperation. Kind of, you kind of get that a lot from these scenes towards the end. I mean, these cities are being destroyed. There we got some dog tags that kind of indicate that maybe a member of the Nobles team has died during mm -hmm. this mission. It looks, really looks like in the, in the course of this campaign, you are going to be pushed up against the wall and maybe, maybe not even win. Reach City has definitely seen better days. That is true. And here, if you saw the E3 trailer, then uh, you'll remember there's space combat. This is the Sabre, another new vehicle which they've said will not be in multiplayer, unfortunately, unless you play probably, you know, co-op in the campaign. Um, but, yeah, not in competitive multiplayer. So in the past, we've seen the Sabre in sort of a dogfighting situation. Here it looks like something a bit 
different, right? It's assaulting a, a major Covenant vessel. That's true. We did not see that at E3, so maybe maybe the dogfighting is going to get even bigger and, and more impressive than what we saw at E3. And uh, we get one last little look here after they let you know, of course, what game you were just looking at, in case you couldn't tell. We have an awesome Vista here. I don't know. It looks like they took down a huge Covenant cruiser, and it crashed on Planet Reach. At least that's what it looks like to me. Yeah, and if you kind of let it play out a little bit, you'll see these little pieces coming, maybe coming through the atmosphere. You can see these little streaks of light coming down. Maybe it's pieces of the ship that are following it down onto the planet. Burning up on entry into the atmosphere. Yeah, and we, we don't know what this character is standing in front of, if this is a, just a, a drop ship or a, a Falcon or something, but it's kind of blinking red. You can see the light kind of blinking. His, we don't know if uh, he's about to get off the planet or if he's stuck there. We, we, we do know, of course, that Reach was absolutely destroyed mm -hmm. um, in the Halo lore. So what we don't know is, of course, whether any of these characters will get off the planet before that happens. One of the interesting things there, if you just go back really quickly, you'll notice he is alone. Yeah. So perhaps throughout the course of the Halo Reach campaign, the entirety of the Noble team will just be decimated. Separated maybe, maybe even some of them will be destroyed, but it's clear that there are going to be moments where you are alone. So I guess that about wraps it up for this Rewind Theater. As you can see, the game comes out September 14th. Stay tuned to IGN.com up till that date and beyond for all of your Halo Reach news.